Hi, so today we're going to uh, take a look at uh, our example how to build an Internet of Things platform out of uh, Raspberry Pi and Arduino and make them connected using Device Hive. It's actually going to be an awesome tool for making a home prototype of pretty much anything connected. Pretty much you can control your Arduino from the cloud or from your iPad or whatsoever, which is pretty amazing. So let's take a look. So okay, let's take a look at um, this Arduino sample. Uh, here we see the registration data. Basically, uh, here we're supplying the ID of the device that will be uh, communicated back to Device Hive via gateway. Uh, we'll give the device key, we'll call it Arduino LED and give its name. Uh, we'll also give the device class, which is Arduino LED in the version. Uh, the equipment here will be, will be LED. Uh, the most important part is commands. Uh, so we'll be, uh, we'll be sending uh, two commands. We'll be, we'll be capable of receiving two commands. Uh, with two intents. Uh, one is a thousand and, the, and it's set and the parameter uh, is uh, byte uh, which is uh, I signed eight bits um, and the intent thousand one is blink and the interesting part here is params uh, which is a structure um, and it will have three parameters. One is on and it will be 16 bits and off 16 bits and count is eight um, and also it will be sending the notification uh, whenever we uh, change the state of uh, pin uh, 12, which we'll call a button, um, and we'll be sending the, uh, the new state of, the, uh, of this pin. A very important part, whenever you send the parameters, uh, make sure that uh, you remember the order of these parameters, and we'll see in a second why. In order to, for us to receive and parse and unload these parameters, we will create the structure called link param, which will, ha which will have the short of on, off, and byte of count. Um, and these go in exactly the same order as this. The reason why the way device hive library is set up internally, it will receive these parameters from the cloud and from the gateway, and then it will unload into blink, blink param exactly in the same order. The Arduino doesn't know the names of these fields, so the order is really important. Uh, if on goes here first in params, on go, should go here in blink param structure, and you should have exactly the same, uh, the same type. So let's move on. Uh, to set up uh, this Arduino code, uh, of course, we'll in initialize their, uh, the pins. For button pin, we'll use internal pull-up, so we don't have to use external pull-up resistor. Um, and uh, we'll also in initialize the state of a button. Uh, but the very important part here is uh, uh, opening the serial port to read data from the gateway and also uh, sending uh, the registration data, this very string that will be received by Python gateway on your Raspberry Pi and then sent over uh, to the cloud to actually create the instance of, of your device and uh, make it communicate uh, to your application on the other side of the cloud. So in this loop, uh, whenever the button changes its state, we'll send the button state uh, this method, which is actually uh, here. We need to create an output message of the same very intent declared in our notifications. Uh, we'll put the state into the byte fields of this of this message, and then we'll write it. That's simple. So whenever we uh, put their connected to five volt probe or disconnected to five probe mo mo volt uh, probe, uh, it will it will change the state. So next thing uh, is uh, reading the messages in the loop, uh, reading the messages from the cloud. There is one message that we must respond to with the intent of registration request. By registration request, we should send our reg data, this very uh, string. So whenever our gateway in the cloud asks us to update the registration data, we should send it back. And these are two our commands. Uh, this one is for setting the LED state. So we should uh, read the uh, ID of the command and we should read the bytes of it. And yeah, you know, we'll just call the LED state, which is which would which is set the state of uh, pin 13, which will 
uh, turn the, uh, the LED, onboard LED on your Arduino on or off. It's very simple. Um, and in the end of it, we should run, uh, we should send the, the result back to the cloud so it will mark it as, uh, as result OK. That's why we actually have to save this command ID here. Um, the same, same pattern here. We are saving the command ID to post it back uh, with a success result. And here, it's an interesting part. That's the part where we unload the blink parameters uh, received from the cloud. Um, so uh, we use the same Rx uh, messages get, but instead of get long, we'll actually send this thing called uh, pointer. You really don't know, need to know what it is, but it's just this magic two parameters you should supply to this get method. It's, there. it's the blink param and the size of it and it will unload uh, the bytes received and it will initialize the fields of on, off and count. So here we just run through the number of counts, set it on for the duration of on, set it off for the duration of off and we're done. And yeah, in the very end of it we should re reset the, uh, the, the, the message buffer in this, in this loop. So that's it on the uh, Arduino side. So now we're going to uh, take a look at uh, what's going on with um, Raspberry Pi. So we know that first we need to uh, change the settings and uh, put the playground URL and uh, uh, path to the device which would uh, represent Arduino connected to Raspberry Pi. So let's figure out where our device is first. Um, I guess it should be... Uh, uh, dev TTY, and there it is, it's uh, USB 0. So now uh, we're going to go and edit um, our Pi example, uh, which using Nano is located here. Um, and here and here uh, we should just go down and uh, there's a section we'll just make sure uh, the gateway URL is the one of your playgrounds and their device is USB 0 for uh, for Arduino Uno it might be actually ACM 0 you just double check by listing your uh, your TTY devices and uh, bot rate in our example it's uh, 115, 200 um, and uh, that's it so just exit and now we're gonna run uh, our gateway to make our Arduino connected to the cloud so let's do it uh, I'm gonna go Python and uh, device hive examples basic gateway so now it's going to start it's going to query Arduino for its capabilities um, it received the capabilities and uh, after that it registered it you can actually see the same very string being listed here it registered and now we are ready to send commands let's take a look so uh, on our playground now we refresh it and uh, see there is actually an Arduino LED device. Uh, we go into its details, looking for notifications, and now we're gonna uh, click on that uh, pin and see what's gonna happen. We click it and release. We click it and release. See we have notifications coming uh, which are being sent through. Um, uh, through our gateway. Now let's take a look and uh, send a couple of commands. So what we've got, we've got our set command. For set commands we have one, we click push and uh, our LED is on and now we click set zero, click push and the LED is off. And now let's uh, try sending a blink command. Blink. And uh, this is a command. Uh, on 500 of 200 and count 5. 
quick push yeah, it's blinking uh, so very nice and simple 